This day, we're going to have another look at remote functions. Today, I'm going to show you commands. Remote command functions are how you can manipulate data when you don't want to use a form element or JavaScript is otherwise required. We're going to use it in our example dashboard to mark a list item as processed. To declare them, you import command from $app/server inside a .remote.ts file and then create a command with that function like so. We define a schema to validate our inputs and get type safety in one go. Once we have declared it, we can just call it inside the component. Right now, this isn't updating anything yet. By default, commands don't refresh anything. We do that by adding a refresh to a command like this. With this simple statement, we're telling the command to also send the new data of this query back to the client. This is the same single flight mutation you already know from form functions. That means you do the mutation and get the new data in one server round trip. And that's it. With these few lines of code, we've got type saved, input validated remote commands.